Haha. <laughs> I guess I saw this earlier on the workshop. The fu <laughs> the Fury APC Modern compatible. I haven't checked it out myself. Let's see how how this thing is. All right, four thousand PCO, nine hundred twenty-seven blocks. It's an armor ground vehicle, and the front kind of looks like a duck. Kind of reminds me to those uh, American amphibious recreation vehicles, which are converted World War II vehicles. All right, I'm guessing the purpose is uh, an armored troop transport. Then, oh, this is created by Crazy Frog Zero Zero One, by the way. Hmm. There's some. Um... Wait, this is all cargo containers. I'm guessing this is not a uh, personnel transport. Then. This is more like a cargo transport. That's very interesting. Are these pistons? Are those like maintenance pistons? It's been a while since I see one of those on space engineers vehicles. Alright, let's check the... Well, that's pretty much the whole interior. There's a single passenger seat and there's a single driver seat. They are fairly protected. These are all heavy armor, so that's a good thing. We have a semi recess connector. Well. A semi-extruded connector up here. Huh. Parachute hatches. I'm guessing they are for emergencies. No, wait. Are these vehicles meant to be airdropped from from a ship or something? And then deliver the cargo on the ground? I mean, from the ground? I don't quite get the thing back here though. Do you guys see this uh, empty space here? This kind of makes the vehicle 3 blocks taller than necessary. I'm guessing the reason is to make the cargo more safe just in case of a crash with the ground so they are less likely to be destroyed. Alright, anyway, let's, let's try to drive the vehicle now. Parking brakes off. Mm. The Only the front wheels can turn. I mean, it's a pretty simple vehicle but you know, it's functional and I'm pretty sure it can do its job fairly well in transporting materials to the ground. That's also quite a high ground clearance, right? So it's rather unlikely that you're gonna get stuck on something. We have a gyroscope on the toolbar. Is that for off-right? Oh, I think this is just a gyroscope. Yeah, this is just gyroscope control in general. Alright, let's try the maintenance piston. Hmm. Oh. That, oops. <laughs> Hold on. Technical issues. Yeah, I mean, this actually works really well if you want to surface the wheels, for example. Like, if you break one of the wheels, you will need to re-add the wheels on the suspension, and you need ground clearance for that. I'm guessing that's one of the primary purposes of these maintenance pistons. So if you really want to do it a lot cheaper, you can just flip the vehicle using gyroscope override. What are these timers? Turn steering off. What? Wait, we can turn off the steering using using timer. Uh, I don't I don't feel any difference. Steering ultimate timer. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what this timer does. Maybe it's the interior. Uh, well, something's happening for sure. All right, let's drop this vehicle from a ship. All right, here goes. and parachute Oop. well well there goes the ship yeah that works really well i'm gonna drop this vehicle from the sky then we're gonna see how much the high ground clearance really help in protecting the cargo containers all right Ooh. oh wow that actually works really well we only lost a single Cargo container. Yeah, that's a very smart design that actually works. You don't always see that on popular workshop items. <laughs> but alright, what about a more realistic crash scenario? Let's say that you're just, you know, driving around and you don't realize that you're driving off a cliff. Let's see what kind of damage will happen. I'm gonna try to save it as much as possible here. Oh, something came loose. What the hell? I think it's one of the rocks. Oh. Huh. Huh. Oof. Uh, 
Let me grab the rock. Ah, that, that was ice. Are you guys seeing this? The cargo containers are, are not damaged at all. But yeah, you know, these less popular items and creations, they might not have all the bells and whistles, and they certainly don't look as fancy as the top workshop items. But you know, we've all been there, especially when we're new to space engineers. We just create things that kind of function, and I think this is a good example of that. I think we need to give more appreciation to these less popular workshop items. So yeah, that's the Fury APC Modern Compatible by uh, Crazy Frog 001. You guys can find the link in the description below.